I am so excited to announce my new holistic lifestyle class, Healing Arts. This class is perfect for anyone looking for a guided and healthy coping technique. My Healing Arts classes are designed to help you when you're stressed, angry, suffering from depression or anxiety, and can even help you when you're bored or uninspired. Experience is not required. All you need to start with is paper and a pencil. I know you're going to love these classes, so let's get started. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my Healing Arts Introductory class. I'm Courtney Danielle. I'm an internationally published author, an illustrator, holistic lifestyle coach, and Reiki practitioner. My hope is that by the end of each Healing Arts video, you will have learned a new and creative coping technique. In addition, you should be more relaxed and have more control over your breathing. Getting creative and making art is one of many healthy coping techniques. It acts as a distraction from your current state of being to help you rise above your situation. These healing arts classes can be added to your action plan, Edgar, or your toolbox of healthy coping skills. My healing arts class is just one way you can practice healthy coping. There are other ways too, such as going for a walk, drinking plenty of water, getting enough sleep, and you can also try counting to 20 at a steady pace while you slow your breathing. Please don't shy away from this experience or doubt your abilities to create. There is no right or wrong way to create art. There's only perspective and the end result. With my healing arts videos, it is less about your final piece and more about your overall health and well being. There is no judgment here, only calm and creativity. To aid you in your creativity, some classes will have printables you can download. I was going to get all teacherish and create a syllabus, but I realized that was way too structured for what I want you to get out of this class. However, you can find a non-syllabus syllabus on my website under the HL Classes tab for those of you who would still like to have one. So, let's get started with the basics. Here's what you'll need for my Healing Arts video classes. First, attitude. Watch these Healing Arts videos with an open mind and a willingness to try, even if you don't believe you're any good. Remember, this is for you and your well-being. It is not for others to judge or critique. Sharing your art with others is at your own discretion, so choose carefully. Tools. At a minimum, pencils with good erasers. But you can also add pens, markers, colored pencils, watercolors, and acrylic paints. I'll be using a mix of them in various videos. And rulers or a straight edge, can also be very helpful. Supplies. At minimum, note or copy paper. However, it's only really useful with pencils and pens. If you go with a heavier weighted paper, a cardstock or heavy sketchbook paper, then you're able to use markers and paints as well. In addition, you need to stay hydrated. You should have tea, coffee, or water with you while you're working on your art. Just be careful if you're painting, not to mistake your paint water for your drinking water. Additionally, you can create a portfolio. Why is it important to create a portfolio if it's not about the work? It's important because it shows your growth and accomplishments. It gives you something to look back at and give you strength when you need it. The strength to realize you can overcome anything, that you can do anything, and that you have Healthy alternatives when life simply sucks. But your portfolio also gives you an opportunity to redo any of the pieces at any time. Or you can go off on your own and mix and match the techniques to create your own unique piece. Portfolio options. All of these items are available at most retail stores and online. The first option is a blank journal book. Blank books are good because unless you're brutal with them, the pages never fall out, like this one. You can create a collection to flip through and work from. However, 
if there's something there that you created you decide is just absolutely terrible, there's no ripping the pages out. Doing so can weaken the page binding and other pages will start to fall out. I also want to mention that not all journals are created equal. Some have thicker pages, but most don't. And so you're limited to pencils, pens, and colored pencils. Another option is sketchbooks. Sketchbooks are great because you can get them in heavier weights so you can use markers and paints. They usually come in two kinds, spiral and fold over. This is a fold over, which means you can pull out the pages easily because they're just glued in. The fold over is helpful because you can just easily pull the pages out. However, the pages don't stay in. That's where the spiral can be nice because it will keep in your pages and anytime you have a piece you're not satisfied with, you can easily rip them out. A third option is a portfolio binder. This uses any loose cardstock you choose to create on or loose pages from a fold over sketchbook. You can even store sketches or scribbles made on random things like sticky notes and napkins and God only knows, you know, the corner of your calendar on your desk. Um, but there's no hole punching required. You just need a basic three ring binder, easy get, um, and some clear plastic sleeve protectors. You can tape the top of the protectors closed if you're worried your pages will slip out. I uh, also want to note that the protectors fit eight and a half by 11 sized paper. So your art is limited to size. Some sketchbook papers like the one I have come in nine by 12. So if you're choosing a larger size paper, you will need to trim it down to size before starting your piece so that it will fit in the sleeve protectors for your binder. The final option I have for you is just a basic folder. Very simple, very easy to obtain. You can keep everything in the folder, no matter what its size is. Um, some of the pages or some of your artwork may hang out, but you also risk that sometimes things will fall out and get lost. But it is an option until you can decide on how you wanna save or display your pieces. Creating or having a portfolio is a personal preference, and sometimes it's determined by the availability of supplies Again, it's not required, but I think having a portfolio is something you should strongly consider. While I do keep some of my sketches in journal books, for these healing arts videos, I will be using the binder sleeve protector option for the portfolio. I think it will best serve me to keep track of all the projects we'll be doing together. I will also be using the heavier weighted sketchbook paper that I showed you, which is nine by 12. So I will be trimming down the pages before I begin. Now, grab yourself a pencil and a piece of paper and hit play on a healing arts video. That's it, you can do this. All of my healing arts classes are free and available to you at a moment's notice if and when you need them. If you're feeling brave, you can take a picture of your piece and email it to me. I will display them on my site as encouragement to others. No one will be able to comment on them. It's for viewing purposes only. You are welcome to add a small caption and your name if you choose to. I can't wait to see what you create. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this healing arts introductory video. Please take a moment to like, share, comment, and subscribe. There is a September 2nd, 2023 blog post available for this blog cast, as are additional posts and videos, which can all be found on my web blog, Courtney hyphen danielle.com. So until next time, get creative and find calm.